The French Revolution. The student will analyze the age of revolutions and rebellions. Reasons for the French Revolution. In the 1700s, France was the cultural capital of Europe, home to numerous Enlightenment thinkers, and had wealth from colonies. King Louis XIV was the most powerful king in Europe. After his death in 1715, Louis XV and Louis XVI continued to rule France as absolute monarchs. but political and economic problems led to the French Revolution in 1789. One problem was France's unequal social hierarchy that was made up of three classes, called estates. The clergy of the Roman Catholic Church made up the first estate. They owned 10% of land in France, but paid little in taxes to the government. The second estate was made up of rich nobles. They owned 20% of French land, but were exempt from paying taxes. The third estate made up 97% of the population and included poor peasants, but also the well-educated middle class called the bourgeoisie. This group paid 50% of their income in taxes. The members of the third estate resented the special treatment the first and second estates received. Members of the third estate gained inspiration from the Enlightenment ideas of John Locke, Voltaire, and Jean-Jacques Rousseau. After the success of the American Revolution, the third estate began demanding democracy, equality, and liberty in France. Social tensions were made worse by a growing financial crisis in the 1770s and 1780s. The French government faced massive debts due to decades of lavish spending, expensive wars, and poor economic planning. By 1789, half the budget went towards interest on the national debt. 25% of people were unemployed. The excessive spending by King Louis XVI and his wife, Marie Antoinette, angered French citizens. By 1789, France was out of money and faced a serious financial crisis. Louis XVI called an emergency meeting of the Estates General, where members from all three classes could advise the king. During the Estates General, the first and second estates voted to increase taxes on the third estate. The first and second estates decided to vote by order, one vote per estate, rather than by head or by the number of people in each estate.
These decisions angered the members of the Third Estate who believed their rights were being violated. The Third Estate formed a new National Assembly to make laws for the French people. In 1789, the National Assembly swore to a tennis co court oath, promising a new constitution and limitations on the king's power. Tennis court oath. The National Assembly wrote their revolutionary ideals in the De Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, which said, Men are born free and equal in rights. Rights include liberty, property, security, and resistance to oppression. It guaranteed freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and equal justice. Meanwhile, the economic crisis continued. Citizens were without food and faced starvation. Angry protesters in Paris demanded new reforms. When rumors circulated that the king was going to send his army to Paris, citizens attacked the prison Bastille to seize weapons to defend themselves. The storming of the Bastille in 1789 represented the beginning of the French Revolution. In 1791, Louis XVI finally agreed to a new constitution that limited his power and created a limited monarchy. But Louis XVI failed to work with the National Assembly and France's problems continued. Fearing the spread of France's revolutionary ideas, Austria and Prussia assembled armies to restore France's absolute monarchy. Quick class discussion. What should the National Assembly do to solve France's problems? In 1792, radicals took control of France and made important decisions. War was declared against Austria and Prussia, and 300,000 French soldiers were drafted into a national army in order to defend France. The French monarchy was overthrown and democratic republic was created, called the National Convention. In 1793, King Louis XVI was arrested, convicted of treason, and executed by guillotine. the guillotine. The radical leaders of the National Convention feared that enemies of the revolution would try to overthrow the new republic.
the radical leaders of the National Convention, who feared that enemies of the revolution would try to overthrow the new republic, looked to Maximilien Robespierre, who slowly gained control of the National Convention in 1793. From 1793 to 1794, Robespierre executed 40,000 traitors during an era known as the Reign of Terror. The Reign of Terror ended when French citizens turned on Robespierre and executed him. The revolution came to an end in 1795, but France was in chaos. The economic crisis had not been solved and people faced starvation. England, Holland, Spain joined Austria and Prussia in the war against France. The National Convention was replaced by France's third government in six years, called the Directory. The Directory proved to be ineffective and corrupt. In 1799, a French military general named Napoleon Bonaparte led a coup d'etat and seized power in France. As Emperor of France, Napoleon introduced needed reforms, defeated foreign armies, and conquered a massive French empire. 